Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Virtual Weekly Flex. My name is Jordan. And I'm AJ. Let's get started. Congratulations to the students who will be competing in the business pitch competition on May 1st. These students were invited to participate as a result for their innovation, determination, and creativity with their vacant lot project for economics. These students include McKenna Vincent, Winpenny Records, Zach Larson, Zacko's Games and Mores, Justin Latinen, Bumblebee Landscaping, Ryan Sharrock, and TJ Hine, Flo Juicery, Aurora Cardoni, Cardoni's Coffee and Cats, Haley Stoutenberg, Community Flower Park. Hey seniors, are you working on a chronicle? We hope so because senior advisors are working hard to put together virtual senior chronicles. If you have not spoken to your advisor about your chronicle yet, do so immediately. The time will come before you know it. We hope you haven't forgotten about Shopperoo. Without being in the building every day, we miss out on these kind of reminders. If you want to help raise money for FlexTech High School, sign up for the app ShopRoo on your smartphone. ShopRoo has you take pictures of your grocery receipts, upload them in the app, and they translate into money. It is that simple. Here is a rundown, rundown of how we are doing. Hey FlexTech, the student ambassador team is still working hard to represent and promote FlexTech school culture. In the face of self-quarantine and stay-at-home orders, technology has really come to the rescue. The student ambassador team is planning new meetings right now. We are especially looking for content for our social media. If you would like to attend the meeting or contribute, just ask your advisor for the link to the virtual meeting. Quarantine has been giving us time to extend our plates and cooking skills. What have you been cooking up or taking out from your local restaurant and your quarantine kitchen? One quarantine, multiple chefs, different cuisine, and fluctuating palates. Let's see what's being cooked up in the quarantine kitchen. Hi guys, it's Miss McKenny here. Um, I'm in my kitchen and I'm making some white chicken chili. I'll show you down here. There you go. It's really good. Um, it's being made with my leftover chicken from yesterday. I roasted a chicken in this exact same pot actually yesterday. Um, and then I added some peppers and onions. So, uh, Miss Moore, you can't eat this. Um, and I didn't saute them, so don't yell at me, Mrs. H. But uh, I didn't feel like taking all the stuff out of the pot to saute them. And I also didn't have green chilies, but I had tomatoes with green chilies. So I just assumed that that would also be fine. So yeah, that's what I got brewing up in my kitchen. Just a little, like, making it with what I got in my pantry so I don't have to go to the store. Um, I'll show you the end result in a few minutes. Here's the final result. White chicken chili with all the yummy fixings on it. It's gonna be so good. And even a little cilantro gar or garnish uh, from my window box garden. And yeah, this is, Miss McKenny's quarantine kitchen. Over quarantine, my family's been eating a lot of chicken, steak, and burgers. Been eating lots of tacos. Gotta make my own shells. Ta da! In their very own taco trucks.
This is a easy grill recipe we like to make uh, with turkey burger and an egg and some onion. We add a little Worcester sauce and some spices and mix it all together to make turkey burgers. We have some sweet potatoes cut into wedges. I'm going to make a sweet mixture with some cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, ginger, and honey. I put the potatoes on the grill first, keep the grill around 425. Keep them on there for about 15 minutes and then uh, flip it. All right, 15 minutes have gone by. I've flipped the uh, potatoes over and put the turkey burgers on. I'm gonna leave those on for about six to seven minutes before flipping that over. And there's the finished spread, side salad. Sweet potatoes, sweet turkey potato. burger. I've been doing over quarantine. One, I've been staying very active and I've been catching up on some family time. My good thing is with all the time in quarantine, I've been able to work a lot on my art and I actually got to the last page of my sketchbook. So one of the good things that happened in my life recently would have to be the fact that my grades are going steady on Google Classroom. I get like five months off for summer and I've been very mentally relieved with minimal stress due to doing absolutely nothing. And that's been my quarantine. My good thing is, now that I'm stuck in my house, I never have to take this hat off because I'm too old for it or it looks ridiculous. I think my hat's pretty cool. So now I get to leave it on all the time, which is awesome. Did you know that every teacher has office hours? Check your Google Classroom to learn how to log on. Go visit your teachers. They miss you.
If you're a junior this year, you may be wondering about the SAT. Testing in April has obviously been canceled, but do not fear. Governor Gretchen Whitmer said there will be a date in October for juniors to take the SAT and for other high school students to take the PSAT. If you are a senior and want to retake the SAT, keep an eye on the College, college Board webpage. They plan on opening testing in August. Also, here's an update on the AP Computer Science test. The AP Computer Science Principles Digital Portfolio is due on May 26 by 11.59 p.m and must include the explore task and create task. The test will not include an end of course exam. Submissions will be done through College Board. Payment for the exam can be completed through our website. We ask that payments be due by May 1st and can be completed through our website. <laughs> if you have any questions, email Ms. Deneen. Hey Flex Tech, this is Ms. Deneen. I want to give you a quick update. The Spring SAT, PSAT, MSTEP, and ACT Work Keys Administration has been canceled and will not be offered again until this fall. Plans for specific dates are being coordinated between College Board and the state. Once information for those administrations is available, I will update you immediately. If you would like to take the SAT independently from FlexTech. College Board is offering weekend administration starting in August every month through December. You can start registering for these administrations on May 26th. You just have to visit College Board's we website and you can register there. Students taking the AP Computer Science Principles Test, please remember that your digital portfolio is due May 26th by 11.59 p.m. If you have not paid for that test, please do so by visiting FlexTech's website. If you have any questions about testing, either independently or for this fall through FlexTech, please don't hesitate to email me. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Virtual Weekly Flex. I'm AJ. And I'm Jordan. Have a good week, Flex Tech.